The Xilinx Agile Mix Signal evaluation platform is a complete analog measurement solution with a wide range of evaluation tools. ChipScope Pro is a design tool that's available in Xilinx's Vivado and ISE design suites. It's a free piece of software that's easy to use, does not require any familiarity with FPGA design tools or methodology. Today we're evaluating ChipScope Pro with the Kintec 7 FPGA KC705 evaluation kit. This software offers a quick and simple way to evaluate the internal temperature and voltage sensors, as well as all the XADC readings. I've launched ChipScope Pro and selected the open chain icon in the top left corner. We see that we connect up with the Kintec 7 K325T device. And then again in the top left hand corner, if I double click on the XADC console, I can see the die temperature and three of the main voltage supplies, VCC int, VCC aux, and VCC BRAM. This data comes across the JTAG USB cable and is a great debug step for digital engineers who might be a little hesitant with analog. We're still plugged into the Kintec 7 KC705 baseboard. And if we scroll back up, we can see the die temperature of the Kintec 7 325T device is sitting at about 42 or 43 degrees C. And the supply voltages are roughly in line with what we expect. BCC int at right around one volt, BCC aux right near 1.8 volts. You can also see the device max and device min voltages as well as the max and min temperatures here. And being able to measure these temperatures and voltage signals is a great reassurance that the FPGA is operating under the right conditions. ChipScope Pro can also log the data and save the file to a .csv file or formatted file. ChipScope Pro also provides access to the multiplexer and 17 differential inputs to monitor analog signals external to the FPGA or the Zinc device. We can select any of the external channels in the drop-down menu in the top right corner. We'll select VP and VN, and now we can see the sine wave signal that I'm applying on the AMS 101 evaluation card. And we see that sine wave signal, rough sine wave signal approximation going up and down like we'd expect. Again, we see the VCC aux. We've traded out the VCC BRAM supply for this external VP and VN channel. We see the VCC aux is still doing what it should do. VCC int, right around a volt. And the die temperature is still right around 43 or 44 degrees. And again, logging all of the, the maximum and minimum conditions on all of these signals. So as you've seen, we've looked at a lot of the system monitoring conditions for temperature and voltage. Next step is to visit xilinx.com AMS for more information, including videos on the AMS Evaluator tool and the XADC Wizard tutorial.